So let's talk about Red Dead Redemption on the Xbox 360. Red Dead Redemption. What can I really say? There isn't too much I can say that hasn't already been said. This game is awesome, the graphics are awesome, the story is awesome, and the gameplay is awesome. But that doesn't mean that the game is perfect. The combat system in the game is good. I won't say it's great or bad, it's just good. The reason for this is occasionally the controls can be a bit odd when you're moving. I found myself trying to just turn right and doing a 360 and facing the wrong way or walking around something. Explaining is pretty hard, but if you play the game, you'll probably get what I'm saying. Difficulty in the game plummets once you learn how to take advantage of the aim assist feature holding down the left trigger. When you aim at something, you press LT to bring up the crosshair and it will automatically target their chest. If you give a quick upwards flick on the right thumbstick to aim up just a bit, you can easily get a headshot. Once you get the rhythm down, you can easily get headshots every single time. The downside is, by doing this trick, you are making the game way easier for yourself. The bad thing is I can't make myself not do this trick after learning it from IGN. Sure, you can turn on expert aim to really make the game harder, but I found using it to be completely annoying. The world in this game is phenomenal. I'm over 20 hours into the game and I've explored maybe half of the map at this point, and I'm still finding new places. You go through many different types of terrain, such as the desert, forest, snow, everything. And you also encounter a lot of different wildlife, and this is something that really makes the game stand out from other games. You can hunt anything that moves, shoot down birds, pluck their feathers, shoot a bear between the eyes, skin it, and hell, you can even kill dogs that you find in towns and skin them as well. When I first fired up the game, I spent a lot of time doing this, and it really doesn't get old. While hunting, you have to pay close attention to the wildlife that is running around in the area. Most animals are deers, rabbits, and that sort of bunch, but in some areas you find yourself facing cougars and wolves. The problem with these animals is that they're just too damn powerful. A cougar can bring you down faster than someone unloading a gun in your direction, and I almost feel like it's kind of unfair. They're very fast animals, sure, and they sneak up on you, but I just don't think that they could really bring you down that easily in real life. I can't say that I know from experience, but I think that I'd have a better chance surviving a cougar attack than someone shooting a sawed-off shotgun in my back. I won't go into too much detail about the story. It's a pretty good game, but at times it feels full of itself with the delivery sometimes. Rockstar has always had a way of explaining what's going on in the GTA games by long car rides and lots of conversation. This game isn't too much different in that aspect, but sometimes it seems like it's just dragging on. Sure, I love cutscenes and all, but riding a horse and talking to everybody are very, just very well done. The characters show a lot of life in their expressions and the voice acting is top notch. This is pretty much expected of the Rockstar games at this point and they really didn't fail to deliver this time. Now let's talk about the bugs. The game is riddled with bugs. The bugs do not really affect the gameplay much, but they certainly are there. A really good example, at one of the train stations there were several people sitting on a bench. That's fine, but the problem is they were facing the wrong way. Their legs were literally going through the seat of the bench, basically like they were standing. Very strange, but whatever. Another bug I encountered was uh, with one of the horses. Uh, for one of the missions, I had to hop on my horse and follow these guys, but the problem is I couldn't get on the horse at all. I walked up to the horse, it didn't prompt me, I pressed Y, I keep pressing Y, nothing's happening. Okay, whatever, so I decided to try to jack uh, one of the horses from one of the guys. Well, no, couldn't do that either. Okay, walk around town, couldn't find a horse, crap, I didn't know what to do at this point. So basically, the only thing I could do was to try to restart the mission. Um, the only way I know how to do this is to fail the mission, so I tried to shoot at one of my guys, but I couldn't do so because the game wouldn't let you. Uh, eventually I figured out a trick with a shotgun and I shot the horse that one of them was riding and instantly failed and restarted the mission and it worked fine afterwards. But that's one of the, uh, one of the bugs that I encountered while playing the game. Anyways, the game, it's definitely high on my list of one of my favorites. It's not perfect, but it's really damn good. There's a good variety of weapons, there's a good story, it's got a lot of stuff to do and a huge world that you can explore. I just wish the dueling didn't suck so bad. I uh, really can't seem to win. I've maybe won one or two, but the majority of my dueling I've lost, and, you know, that's annoying. But, eh, with that said, go pick up this game if you haven't already. I've heard that the PS3 version and 360 are identical, but for some reason the 360 has slightly better graphics. Not sure if that's true or not, but you probably won't be disappointed either way. This has been a half-assed video game review. I am Donnie. Thank you.